been around for 400 million years, yet in just the last 50 years we've wiped out nearly 90% of them. Ever wonder why they're not protected? As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing wrong with eating shark's fin soup. In fact, I would even go one step further. I think you should eat shark's fin soup for the sake of the poor developing countries, the poor fishermen of the world. CITES, the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species, is the UN body set up to monitor and restrict trade of species whose numbers are threatened with possible extinction due to human or natural impacts. CITES receive information and advice from the CITES Animal Committee. Shark scientists, marine biologists, global NGOs, conservationists and environmentalists all send in their reports and recommendations for the Animals Committee consideration. For years these reports have fallen on deaf ears and had no effect for the sharks. Why? The alternate representative for Asia is Singaporean Dr. Giam Chu Hu. An article just published in the Times of London by Frank Pope has uncovered that Dr. Giam is also a representative of the shark fin industry in both Singapore and Hong Kong. Hence, a clear conflict of interest against the protection of sharks. If we want to give sharks a fighting chance, we need to remove these connections with the shark fin traders and call upon CITES to replace Dr. Giam with someone with a non-biased standing. CITES can then listen to the scientists and other bodies reporting on the state of shark populations and grant the necessary protection to the sharks. Finally then, sharks may just stand a chance of survival. So here's what you need to do. Visit the website and sign the petition. Each petition sends an email directly to CITES and the Singapore government. We need to let them know that we will not stand by and allow the most powerful body in animal protection to be corrupted by the greed of the shark fin traders who are hell-spent on profiting from the destruction of a species.